Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, it is so very true. Jesus loves us very much. The Bible tells us that very thing. I brought something with me today, and I wonder if anybody, if you're a reader, you know what it is. But what is that? It's definitely a first aid kit. A first aid kit. Very good. It says you can use it anywhere. Where can we use it? How about right here? At home, on the go, outdoors. At home, on the go, outdoors. You really can use it anywhere, can't you? What kind of stuff might you expect to find in a first aid kit like this one? If you can use it anywhere, can you use it in outer space? You could pro I think you could <laughs> probably use it in outer space. Can you use mm -hmm. it they need to add that onto the label, right? Yeah. Even outer space, should you find your, yes? What do you find in a first aid kit? Yeah, everywhere. That's right, everywhere in the world. Well, let's go ahead and pop it open. Yeah. That, oh, yes. What did you say? She said that there's band-aids. Band-aids! Right on the very top. Look at that. Uh, adhesive bandages, I guess, for copyright purposes, right? Band-aid and Kleenex. Waterproof They're two that have it all figured out. <gasps> Look at that. Waterproof band-aids. Look at that. That is very handy to have, because what if you scrape your toe while you're at the pool? Why? You could put on a waterproof Band-Aid, right? So we've got Band-Aids, we've got waterproof Band-Aids, we've got, what is this right here? Anybody? Maybe over there? Oh, I think that's a Band-Aid. Gauze, okay. So if you get a big owie, then you can wrap this stuff around it, and then when you pull it off, it sticks on there, and it's really great. Yeah, so that's good to have around. Does anybody know what this might be? Is it an alcohol wipe? No, there are some in here though. Alcohol wipes right there. Very smart. Neosporin. This one, it's not Neosporin, but we do have Neosporin in there. It's right there. Good call. What about this? There's medicine in there. Do you know what kind of medicine it might be? Tylenol? Yeah, pain medicine. So that when you take it, maybe it can help you to feel better. So we have all these things in here. We've got more of these gauze pad thingies and all kinds of stuff. One time I used the gauze when I, used, when I lost a tooth. <laughs> you, put, you had gauze in your mouth? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I could see how that would work. Super absorbent and whatnot. We got this stuff right here that's in French. Non-medicated instant cold pack. It's called Bengay. I don't know why it's called that. But anyway, then we've got a couple. Oh! See what I came across? See what I came across here? I did not Note see to seal, read it. What does it say Note there? Note to self, read it. Oh my. Note to self, read it. Oh, we've got Benadryl too, that's good stuff. Note to self, well I guess this must be pretty important. Let's go ahead and read that. I wonder if any of our readers can help me with that. Go ahead. Always remember to pray. Date, always, and then what does it say? Remember, Remember, to pray. Remember to pray. Now, if you do get a scrape on your toe at the pool, um, and you say, you know what, I don't want a Band-Aid, I don't want Neosporin, I don't want an alcohol wipe to make sure that it's all uh, clean and everything, uh, I'm just going to pray. Would that work? No. Can you pray the scrape away? It's never worked for me personally. That's why I think it's part of the kit. Today we hear a couple of really amazing healing stories from Jesus. He winds up saying things like, your faith has made you well. Now that doesn't mean that we don't sometimes need something that'll take some of the pain away. Your band-aids or this step-by-step -step first aid guide or stuff like that. But we should always remember to add prayer when we need healing. Yes? Did you just write that? Um, 
Depends on what you mean by just. The question was, did I just write that? Like, did you write it this morning? <laughs> no. I have a question. I have a question. It, okay. Does meditation also help? Yes, it does. Meditation also helps. Yeah, that's right. And we, as Christians, we might think, oh, meditation, that's not really our thing. Yes, it is. We can focus on Christ. We can focus on God who wants to heal us. And of course, we'll still use this stuff. It comes in very handy to have. That's why we keep this one in the back of our car all the time, just in case. But this is an important note. Always remember to pray. Because God wants us to invite God into the healing process. God wants us to invite God into the healing process. And one way we can do that, maybe the most important way, is to pray and to say, oh God, help me to feel better. Oh Jesus, um, you healed so many people. Help to heal me today too. Or you could even pray for people that you know. Oh, my best friend broke her ankle and right during the middle of the summer, <laughs> please help her to feel better. Or, what's that? What's her name? It's a hypothetical. Her name is um, Hypothetical? Petunia. Petunia. What a weird name. Or somebody in your family. Oh, no, Grandma, I'm Grandpa, not. somebody else <laughs> isn't feeling very well. Oh, God, can you please lay healing hands on them today? See, it's part of the kit. It's a very important part of the kit. It doesn't replace the other stuff, but when we add it, we invite God into the healing process. Yeah? Weren't you supposed to put med? On there. Well, there's all different kinds of ways to pray. I meditate, and that's one kind of prayer. We uh, pray before meals. We say pre special prayers, asking God for grace and blessings and things like that. Now, summer is notorious. If you're going to camp, or if you are at the pool or the beach or something, and you get a scrape or a cut or a bruise or one of those things, you might need one of these first aid kits, but always, always, always remember to pray. Let's do that now. Let's pray. Oh God, we thank you so much for Jesus who healed so many people of so many afflictions. Oh God, help us this summer to be careful, but if we do need first aid, oh God, we ask that we would also remember always to pray Help us to invite you into the healing process. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.